Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat, YouTube.com. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing to this channel. If you haven't done so, please do so right now. Miami Dolphin fans, what is going on? How about this offseason so far? And it continues to just uh, keep on going for us. And uh, Mike Wallace uh, was traded from the Dolphins to the Minnesota Vikings. Now the Minnesota Vikings acquired, acquired Wallace in a trade. Uh, that was announced, obviously, yesterday, Friday. Uh, Miami sent the seventh round pick along with Wallace, while Minnesota sent a fifth round pick. Uh, Wallace was owed $12.1 million in 2015. And I think, and I said this many of times in my videos during the Dolphins, uh, you know, during the NFL season, being I'm a Dolphin fan, that Wallace had failed to, uh, quite honestly, produce to an elite level, the contract, the money that he was getting after he left Pittsburgh, uh, you know, from free agency to Miami, in which he got a five-year, $60 million deal in 2013. Um, you know, part of the big thing, too, is the rumor is, is that Wallace was perceived as being a, kind of a, a bad guy in the locker room. Um, thinking back to when he uh, benched himself this past season, Week 17 against the New York Jets. Say what you want to say. The man quit. He benched himself. Um, you know, Wallace departed. Brandon Gibson uh, being released. Uh, Heartline released. Miami has to find, I think, new receivers to uh, surround Tannehill. Tannehill entering his fourth season has led to Miami to consecutive 8-8 eight eight seasons, remember. Uh, Wallace led the team in receiving in 2014, 862 yards, but he really just really didn't cut it for me. He was behind at Heartline in 2013 and uh, with 930 yards. Heartline um, was also uh, released. Um, you know, the Dolphins have the 14th pick in this year's draft. Kind of have an opportunity, I think, now to get Cooper, uh, White, the wide receiver, you know, Parker, uh, Green Beckham, you know, these type of guys. Now, and I think, just to give you my thoughts on the trades, I think we got something for a guy who quit on the team and cost way too much money uh, for the skills he brought to the field. I think this savings allows uh, Miami to retain Clay. Uh, which allows two tight end sets, quite honestly, which allows for better play action and running plays to choose from. They acquired Stills, made a video about that before, skilled and just as fast, I think, as Wallace. There is still, obviously, the draft ahead. Miami's defense will be better, and the offense, I think, is shaping up. You know, honestly, stop thinking... Everything is about paying Sue. Now that I think about it prior to my video, uh, Detroit paid for Sue, Stafford, and Megatron and put together a playoff team. Miami's paying for Sue and soon to be Ryan. They have young talent and are not stressed with cap space after getting rid of underperforming players. To cap will also be increasing, remember, in the next coming years. Ultimately, I think, um, you know, I think this is a move that had to be made. Had to be made. Uh, obviously, looking, expecting, wanting to hear your thoughts. Until next time, sayonara, uh, Mr. Wallace. Goodbye.